everyone, welcome back. What was that? That was the loudest news Pappy has ever made. So we are back in Vegas. This is the longest we've been like put in Vegas since we moved in April. And it has been great. It's been, we'll be here for two weeks and then we're gonna head back to LA for Halloween. And then I'm gonna come right back because we are tearing down our walls and our floors. I'll get to that. But it has been, uh, it has been so peaceful just being at the house, taking care of it. I feel like every time we come, we're here for a couple days and then we have to pick up and go somewhere else. So I've really been focused on organizing and finding a place for everything. Cause every time we're here temporarily, I just like throw something there, throw something there. Our drawers turned into junk drawers so quickly. So I've organized those. Organize my closet, our closet. It's mostly mine. That's bad to say. It's mostly mine. And I did pay for it. So <laughs> I think I've mentioned this before. So Dean paid for the game room. I have not paid for a cent in there. We split everything. Um, but that is his room and then the closet is my room. So I did pay for the closet. So that's what I feel. Okay, saying it's my closet, but it's our closet. He gets a small little corner. That's all he needs. He doesn't have much clothing. I asked him how much he wanted and he said that was good. So that's what he got. And he also has half of the dresser in the bedroom. But yes, I've been organizing. So I'm so excited to show you the organization, basically. Feel at ease. I, I can't get work done until things are organized. If something's messy, like I'm a mess internally, so I just feel so calm right now, which is great. And it's especially great because, here comes Pappy, a lot of my family is coming into town this weekend for my uncle's wedding, and I'm so excited. So I want the house to look good and people to feel comfortable here, not living in a mess. So that is why I've just been like hunkered down and organizing nonstop, just trying to make the house look presentable, even though I'm looking at boxes, but it's all of Dean's stuff. So lots to fill you in on. We're tearing up the floors, our backyard. There, there have been some issues. This week, I'm just kind of gonna take you through meals and house updates, and then next week, I will do my best to share the wedding. I'll have my camera, so gonna vlog. So I am rambling, but there is so much to catch you up on. Let's get into this week's video. I've been cooking more because I finally feel like I can get groceries, we're settled. I've been making soup. Tonight I am making a sweet potato kale and pepper recipe. Maybe not in the Dutch oven, but potentially. Trying out a bunch of new recipes because we have Dean's family coming for Christmas. So I'm trying to make sure I can cook them good things. Got this cute little pappy pumpkin, perfect for fall. I got this round vase from H&M Home. And then this is from McGee & Co. It's been there the whole time. And A Floral is where I got this eucalyptus bundle. He has not stopped following me around. Nothing really has changed in the living room. I did get these really cute glasses. They're actually a magnifying glass. I don't think I ever shared this. We got this from Greece and they had a light shining. I don't know if it was under it. Dean swears it was under it. I thought it was over top of it, but it cast this really cool shadow. And we fell in love with it. It's from a local Greek designer. We brought it back with us. It's just a big rock with a cute little guy in, in the middle. I wanted a cute entryway so bad. I wanted a bench and a mirror, but we just don't really have the space for it. So instead, I was at the container store and I found these, which double as a coat hook. Still trying to figure it out. I really do want to put a bench here or something, but the space is pretty narrow. And to fill you in on the backyard, Oh my goodness. So we are putting a pool back there and it has been a nightmarish process. I'm just gonna sit down to share this. So we were in Europe when they started the backyard. I don't know at what point, but they hit the clean out. All of the water from upstairs came down here. And I was home alone, Dean was in the mountains and had no service and I was freaking out. I grabbed everything I possibly could. I grabbed sheets, towels, everything. Cleaned it all up and then the second wave came through, flooded it again. And at that point I had used pretty much everything. So then I'm going in the closet and I'm like ripping up like the most absorbent jackets I can find. And so I called my uncle and his wife, our soon to be wife, and I ran over to their house because they live super close to us and grabbed all the towels that they could give me and kept mopping. That wasn't enough. Like there was so much water in here. I was panicking. It's a brand new home and I didn't want anything to get ruined and I'm looking at the baseboards that are just like coming apart right now. 
and it sucked it really did but I was like you know what I did a great job I think I got everything up I don't think there's any damage but then we had someone come out and they were like yeah there's a lot a lot of water damage so unfortunately next week they are tearing up our floors but like it is so warped I'll, I'll have to show you tearing out our island and this wall, a couple other walls, then we have to live in a construction zone, which is not ideal. I'm just, I'm bummed out. I am. I'll show you the damage. So you can see that the baseboards are coming apart. And then I don't know if you can see here, but this is coming up from the ground. I mean, this one just like comes out. With all that, I'm mainly just concerned about this little guy in his ears. I don't want him to be scared all day, so he might have to pop over to my grandparents or my uncles and have him hang there because he gets scared easy and those big ears can hear so much, can't they? Okay, so it's still a junk drawer, but it's decently organized. Decently. It could be better, but this was, this was a very fast organization. The pantry is a work in progress too. I thought I knew how to organize and I'm realizing I don't. I did put all my aprons on this hook. So at least now maybe I'll use them. I got this from our cooking class in Tuscany. And then I got this cute little Valentine's Day apron from Amanda Up Richard. And this one I think is from TJ Maxx. And I have been organizing our bathroom closet. Again, could use some work. I wasn't sure if I liked these, so I haven't taken the tags off, but I do. I put all of the extra sheets and stuff in there. Similar to the aprons, I put my robes up here as well. But this is looking a lot better than it used to. I'm getting one more bin to go on top there. And I finally feel like I can show you all my closet. So this is Dean's corner. As you can see, he does not need that much space. But I have been organizing this like crazy, trying to figure out where I want what. It's not fully finished. It's almost there. Oh my gosh, I have to show you these shoes. I'm trying to find somewhere that I can wear them to. They are so pretty with these cute little butterflies. I shared this on Instagram. I just wanted to share it on here too. I got these cute little decor items for the guest bath. This is again from A Floral. These are both from H&M Home. I think they're so cute. In Dean's room. Now for the guest bed that Dean made. He did such an incredible job. He says it's not fully finished yet, but I think it looks so good. He kept trying to explain to me what he was doing and I was like, this makes no sense to me whatsoever. This is the first piece of furniture that Pappy can hide under. He loves to be under furniture and our bed is on the ground, our couch is on the ground. So he's been coming in here just to be under the bed. I've been having a lot of makeup free days and I decided I didn't want to put makeup on just to do the outro, so sticking with it. Also, I wanted to show you this. I'm just going to pick it up. I made bread, homemade bread, for the very first time in my life and I didn't have eggs, so I used vegan eggs and this is, this is how it turned out. It actually tastes pretty good, but yeah, not the bread I was anticipating. Right now I'm about to make dinner. I am making Caesar salad with vegan dressing that I'm trying out for the first time. Grilling some asparagus, avocado, maybe some other things. Who knows? Whatever's in our fridge or freezer. But thank you for watching. I will see you all next week. Hopefully some wedding content will be coming your way. I appreciate you tuning in to these house updates.